Hey everyone, I'm Nick de la Torre with Awaken Catholic and welcome to Awaken the Word. Today we're reading from the Gospel according to John. As the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. The world has a lot of opinions about Catholicism, and many, if not most, of those opinions are pretty negative. The church gets a bad rap. I'm sure you've heard it said, why do some old men in Rome wearing robes get to tell me what I am allowed or not allowed to do? And you especially hear this when it comes to issues of sexual morality. But it isn't just isolated to that, it's true universally. Even for something as simple as fasting, when we fast as a church family, as a Christian family, when we globally, all together, fast for Lent, when we abstain from meat as a church, as a family, the world says, why is the church telling me what to do? Why is the church trying to control me? Why is the church trying to have any kind of influence over my body, over my life? When we understand the church as a Holy Spirit-led evolution of the family of God, when we understand that the first apostles became the first bishops, and as the ministry grew, they had to spread and grow the episcopate. That is to say, they had to ordain more and more bishops. When we understand that this is the trajectory of what would become the Catholic Church, and when we understand that for any bishop, one of their primary roles, other than administering the sacraments, is to protect truth. And that in the context of that, in over 2,000 years of the church's existence, not a single teaching has ever changed. It helps to create a context around the teachings themselves. Everything that our Lord commanded, going back all of the way to the Ten Commandments, any law that God has ever given us, even going back to the Garden of Eden, any law was for our own well-being, was for us to live and thrive in peace, in grace, and in joy. And none of that has changed. Every teaching, every command, every law, every edict that the church and the bishops defend to this day are so that our joy may be complete. My invitation to you, if this is something that you have struggled with, or if you know others who have, is to look at it a bit differently and ask the Holy Spirit to soften your heart. I have been Nick. This has been Awaken the Word. And before you go, I just need you to know that Jesus loves you. Peace.